and thanks for joining us for our Brain Booster this week. Today, we'll be discussing resolve advanced allocations and order reservations. As you know from our previous Brain Booster videos, Resolve is an add-on to SAP Business One which integrates directly into your Business One system, utilizing all of SAP's master data, and allows you to do a multitude of things. Today's two modules, Advanced Allocations and Order Reservations, work hand in hand. The first one that we'll be taking a quick look at is your order reservations. Order reservations is perfect for those who need to do hard allocations on stock. So I'm going to open up my Resolve module here, open up my order reservations, and go to my order reservation screen. A hard allocation means that you will not be able to utilize someone else's reserved stock. Normally, SAP Business One will allow you to allocate stock, but it's not a hard allocation. So should someone want to pick stock before your order is picked, they will be able to, in essence, take your material. However, utilizing order reservations, the hard allocation will not allow any other user to utilize your stock if you have a hard allocation to it. This will allow you to further benefit customers because the stock that you've told them will ship on a certain day will always be able to adhere to that schedule. Now, we're going to take a quick look at a specific item in the system and how items are reserved. You can set the system to auto reserve items by sales quote and sales order, or you can set the system for manual reservations. Normally, you won't utilize manual reservations unless you only have a small amount of items that will be utilizing order reservations. Normally, it's much more efficient to utilize your auto allocate. So as we see here, this item has an open sales order and also has some open stock. Now, in the top part of your screen, you see the in stock and supply documents. That includes all of your in stock across all warehouses and all of your supply documents or purchase orders. Your demand documents are your sales quotes and your sales orders, depending on how the system is set up. So if we take a look at our sales order here, and I'm just going to simply highlight my row, we see that I have one reserved against an order of one. Now, if I ever wanted to update my automatic allocations, all I would have to do is simply minimize my screen a little bit so that you can see my bottom items. And I would just be able to use my manage reservations here. That allows me to manually update something. Maybe a customer canceled an order and I'm gonna allocate that material to another customer. I can simply click manage here and I'm able to unreserve this quantity here. And you'll see on the top part of our screen, this will show you what's reserved against your in stock or your supply documents. So if I simply select my line two here, you see that this is my in-stock quantity. If I had additional POs or I wanted to manage which was being used for my sales order, for example, if I had an incoming PO as well as stock, I could allocate that stock for one customer and the incoming purchase order for another. You're also able to manage your reservations directly from your sales order, sales quote, or from the item master itself. Now let's take a look at our advanced allocations. Utilizing advanced allocations allows you to do things like automatically create pick lists based upon specific rules in your system. Normally, you use the SAP Business One Pick Pack Manager in order to create your pick list. However, utilizing advanced allocations can actually allow you to automate the process of creating those pick lists. And that's just one way to use it. But that's the use case we're going to be looking at today. So if I go into my Resolve Setup menu, I'm going to start by showing you what comprises the rules for our advanced allocations inside of SAP Business One. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my, my advanced allocation rule. You can have as many advanced allocation rules as you'd like, and they can get as complex as having one per customer, or they can be as broad as to say that you'll release all material to a pick list as long as the sales order is fully complete or even a partial complete, as long as you have those sales orders labeled as a partial delivery in your standard SAP Business One setup. So for my pick ticket rule here, 
we'll take a look at my rule name, which is my wave picking. Wave picking usually comprises that you're picking certain materials that span across multiple orders, but they're the same items, so logically they'll be in the same location in your warehouse. And picking them all at one time and bringing them to the packing station for packing is very efficient. So our wave picking is based upon a query, and our query details, our pick actions, and our scheduler are all related to these rules and the query. So now let's take a look at how this is set up. First thing I'm going to do is open up my query for wave picking. So my query for wave picking is based upon sales orders. And here is the query that I'm utilizing. So this query is utilizing any picker. So that means any picker that you have assigned to a specific order, this query will capture that as long as that line in the sales order is related to other lines in the sales order, thus allowing you to wave pick something. It's also looking at our inventory levels, so that is set to yes, meaning that it's looking for available inventory. It's looking at my line number, my open quantity, and my item code. These are all your SAP Business One tables that it's utilizing. So it's just like your standard SAP Business One SQL queries, except for we're utilizing them to automatically create a pick list for us instead of utilizing your Pick Pack Manager to create that pick list. If we click Preview here, we'd be able to test our query to ensure that not only does it work, but that it returns results. So we see here that I have specific materials across more than one sales order assigned to multiple pickers. So what this is going to do is it's going to release each one of these orders for that specific item. Our AC0021, for example, is on two purchase orders here. So we're going to release that material to a pick list automatically based upon this query. Once we know that our query works, we would assign what's called a pick action. Your pick action is telling the system additional information it's looking for before creating those pick lists automatically. So for my input actions here, I actually added a line to my query that in regard to a group. And that's your item group from your SAP Business One setup and your master item records. So we're setting this query to release all fulfillable lines and quantities. That means even if a partial is available, it will create the pick list for those specific items within that specific SAP Business One item group. You can filter it even further down if you want to get more complex with your advanced allocation setup by telling it which bins you want to receive from or rather which bins you want to pick from. You can also set pick list generation, par generation parameters. These are your standard SAP Business One parameters, just as if you were creating a pick list from the pick list wizard. So we can split them by item, item group, business partner, and so on. You can also allow the system setup to use automatic location based upon specific settings. Normally, we have this set up to adhere to our warehouse settings. But of course, if you're utilizing FIFO, for example, you can set this up to utilize FIFO as well so that you make sure that first in, first out is adhered to across the board, even when utilizing advanced allocations to create your pick lists automatically. Last but not least, we have some pick lists details. You have some pick list detail options, including selecting, looking for, and selecting the system date demand row date, and a query date specifically. You can also set them to only look for specific users. So our wave pick right now is utilizing all users and all pickers. However, if you only want to set specific queries to create pick lists for a specific picker, you can do so as well. So you have user and picker. You can also utilize remarks. That means that certain orders that have specific remarks will be the only ones that can be included inside your query. So our specific remarks are wave picked by advanced allocations. Those remarks will allow the system to know that those orders should be released to a pick list automatically utilizing advanced allocations. Advanced allocations can work hand in hand with your order reservations, and that's why the modules are combined together when you purchase advanced allocations or order reservations. 
Reason being, as soon as the system can automatically allocate orders based upon your order reservations, advanced allocations can then take that information and automatically generate the pick lists related to those sales orders that have already been automated in terms of reserving the inventory that's on hand. Last but not least, we have our scheduler. The scheduler will tell the system when it should run looking for these picks. You can have the system set to run maybe just once daily in the mornings to make sure that you get everything in the morning picked. You can have it set to hourly or even every 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever is best for you. And each advanced allocation rule is set to its own scheduler. That means that you can accommodate a multitude of rules and picking and release to picks across all day depending on what your need is. Specific customers may only want to ship on Fridays, so you can actually set up an advance allocation rule utilizing the scheduler to only run on Friday mornings. That will allow you to make sure that you don't accidentally waste your time picking something that really can't ship until Friday anyway, and of course that you don't pick something early and try to ship it to a customer when they're not available to receive it. As you see here, our scheduler is set for daily, so every day our scheduler runs looking for pick lists that adhere to the query for our wave pick lists here. You also have the option here to set a log file detail for any issues that could occur with your advanced allocations. And that log file will tell you if there's an issue. Maybe there's an issue with a date or an order perhaps, or maybe the scheduler or the processor in the background is having an issue. These log files that also are able to be used with all of your other resolve modules as well will give you some background should any issues arise. Then you can go in, fix the information, and the system can automatically generate your picks later. Or you can push them through utilizing the manual option in your advanced allocations. Thanks for joining us for, your brain, for our Brain Booster this week. And I know that I went super fast through this, so please feel free to reach out to us here directly at VistaView Solutions. You can reach out to me directly or directly to your SAP Business One partner who can then reach out to us and we can get you more information and a full demonstration of our advanced allocations and order reservations or any other resolve module you like. Thanks so much. Have a great day.